Hey everybody, Danny Rod here. Thanks for joining us this week. Yes, we are still in lockdown here. That's why I'm filming in my home. But to cheer you up, I've got a little giveaway for you. Courtesy of our friends at Scottsdale Golf, you are gonna have the opportunity to win three of the most popular training aids on tour when it comes to putting. Yes, we're gonna talk about your chipping today as well as your putting, but I'm gonna give away just today three of the most popular training aids. One being the laser it's used on tour, fantastic for making sure you're lined up. One of the biggest faults in most people uh, is putting. And the reason why they don't hold enough putts is their alignment unbeknown to them is not great. Lasers really, really help that. Secondly, these are like gold dust, the put out. Wonderful for training clearly, giving you a target to aim at, but more importantly, distance control. I'll show you how that works soon. And my favorite, the MI putting template. These are all over tour. There's so many of the guys are using these actually on the putting greens before they go out in their practice. You're gonna get a chance to win all of these just as a way of saying thank you. So. How do you win it? You've got to do four things for me to, to kind of give yourself a chance of winning this. You've got to be a subscriber of the channel. So if you're not already, just press that subscribe button and the bell, it's completely free. Secondly, you've got to like the video. Thirdly, you have to comment down below, just hash stay safe, because you should all be staying safe right now. And fourth and finally, just subscribe to my weekly newsletter. All you gotta do, there's a link in the description below showing you exactly how to do that. All it is, is I release free content every single week to try and help you improve your game. So do those four things and you've got a chance of winning all of these things. So let's now get into the training. Right then, let's get stuck into the training. You and I both know that putting is probably one of the most important parts of the game. And you've got to be consistent. You've got to be consistent. If you want your scores to drop, you want your handicaps to drop, you've got to be consistent. So come and have a look over my shoulder and I'm going to show you a couple of real, real secrets to becoming really consistent in putting. So I've got the MI putting template here. And what I'm going to show you here is how this really trains a really simple and wonderful stroke. Now look at the arc here. This black line represents the arc of the putting straight. How many times, or I don't know about you, but do you ever find that you're often trying to get the putter going straight back and straight through? Because a lot of people do. And this is kind of manipulating the putter. We don't want that. What we want is we want this putter to be flowing back on a simple arc going back and through like this. So I would initially stand over the ball and just imagine an arc going back and through. It's like a little mini turn or a little rotation in the body here, back and through, okay? The next thing once you've done that is, is we have a, uh, the template here has, you'll see three holes. Normally you put T pegs in there, right? Now these represent almost what we call a gate, a gate for the ball to go through. Now, this is the advanced gate because it's very narrow and then a slightly wider gate because it's a bit wider, makes it a little bit easier. I love this because it does two things. The great thing about the arc is it gives you a visual kind of representation you can take to a golf course. The great thing about the gate, it does that too. Sometimes it's hard to visualize a ball going into a hole out there, but actually looking at a gate and picking a spot in front of you and visualizing the ball going through the little gate really, really helps. Well, you can imagine that on a golf course once you've practiced this enough indoors. So you get yourself set. You've now got a feel of the arc and we're simply gonna go through that gate. Now, you can make this a little bit tougher. So we don't have T pegs, again, put a T peg in the carpet, but I've got my I've got my children's DVDs. I've got Pinocchio here, and we're gonna act, that's gonna act as a little gate. And I've got Alice in Wonderland for my next, the other side of the gate. So let's have a quick look at this. I get ourselves set here, and then what we're gonna do, put ourselves in, got my arc, I'm gonna simply swing through and hit it through that gate. I'm happy with that. So we've got the art going, we've now got the visualization in the gate. And then all we do, if you really wanna ramp it up, well, should I? Yes, let's do it. We bring in the pot out. This could drive you bonkers, but let's introduce it, cause it's a bit of fun, so, and it could keep you occupied for hours. So, this obviously represents a hole, but there's a little hole up here, which means the only way you can get it in that hole is if you get the perfect distance. So we're gonna have a couple of attempts at this before we get out and show you a real simple chipping tip. So let's have a look at this. Got to get the perfect distance. Oh, almost, okay. I'm not gonna waste your time by going for this, but you got a chance to win this again. Follow those instructions down below, you can do that. So. Great little tool, keep you busy. Let's head out now and look at some chipping. 
Right, you've practiced your putting, let's now work on your chipping. I'm gonna give you one of my favorite exercises, which is my reverse engineering process. What does it basically mean? Start with you, start with the end in mind. If I'm gonna to toss a ball to you right now, and I wanna toss it, like I say, mid-trajectory, watch this. Look at this, I'm gonna throw it to you. That's my finished position. I'm gonna try and achieve that. So the backswing, the downswing takes care of itself. Am I gonna swing around the corner if I'm gonna try and swing to you? Of course not. That, this is a natural motion in order to get a ball to you. The other thing about reverse engineering is it's not just about direction and finish position, but rhythm. Because you're there, am I gonna do this? No, that wouldn't be reverse engineering the process, would it? Starting with you, you're only there, I find a rhythm. You can do the same with chipping, watch this. If I'm gonna chip a ball beyond you, I might have that style of rhythm, a little bit firmer. I also, if I wanna chip a ball high, I might finish high, so I might focus on finishing up here. But if I start with rhythm and where I'm finishing as kind of my primary objectives, the backswing and the downswing can naturally start taking care of itself. So watch this, I'm gonna finish high. This is gonna prevent me from just chopping down on the back of the golf ball and creating those skull shots along the ground. So start with the end in mind. So how do you practice this in the garden? So we're gonna literally get ourselves set up. I put a alignment rod here, which I'm gonna, I'll throw that in as well in part of this giveaway. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on setting the ball off on line, but I'm ultimately trying to finish here. What's finish position is gonna give me a ball that's gonna fly into that paddling pool and over that green state. So I'm just focusing on my finish position. Okay, didn't get the rhythm, got the height, and, but no, not the distance, okay? So I'm gonna have a crack at that. So I'm only focusing just for now on that finish position there. Pretty good, online, but again, all I'm focusing on here. This will stop those of you who get a little bit stuck in here. That's not gonna get you into that position, is it? Or the guys were chopping down, you're never gonna get into here. So again, simple exercise here, but just focusing on your finished position, reverse engineering process, you'd be amazed at how good your backswing and your downswing starts to become. Remember, we wanna use the bounce of this golf club. By literally allowing the golf club to finish like this, the club naturally, does this and the bounce gets used. As opposed to a lot of those thins and chunk shots are where the leading edge is coming in. This is this kind of finished position. We don't want that. Okay, we want to get ourselves set here. Focus on that reverse engineering position there. That's where I'm going. And away we go. So I hope you enjoyed this training. If you do, give it a thumbs up and remember, if you want to be part of the giveaway, you've got four things you just need to do. Like the video, comment down below saying hash stay safe subscribe to the channel it's completely free and fourth and finally come and subscribe to my free weekly newsletter all the the details of that are in the description down below do those four things and in six days time we're going to release the winner good luck thank you for scott self for providing us all these bits and pieces until next week everybody have a great golfing week